Look, if you ask me, Enron is down, but not out. Who doesn't like a comeback story? All right, if you want to hear my plan, get at me later. I got to meet up with an old friend. All right, peace, fam. Let's go do this lunch thing. I just have one more quick interview. I'm still trying to find your replacement. That is, unless you want your old job back. I told you before, Ronsif. I moved on to bigger things. E720 going under was a blessing. I'm tearing it up all over town like a boss. Sounds great, Tommy. I've offered Tom his job back several times. And each time, he's told me he's just too busy being an entrepreneur. Then two days ago, I saw him spraying cologne samples at Macy's. The young man has a lot of pride. This isn't going to be easy. So, Courtney, this says you retired in 1968. No, no, no. I was fired because I made a pass at an ethnic woman. And what have you been doing for the last 43 years? Oh, you know, hitchhiking around. I went to Mexico. I met a lot of ethnic girls. They grow on trees down there. I was in jail for a spell. That about brings it up to date. It sounds to me like you're ready to get back in the game, Courtney. We'll be in touch. Another very strong candidate. Are you insane? He was a million-year-old racist. He said he liked ethnic girls, Tom. I'm sorry, Ron, but I created a legacy here, and I need to make sure it's protected. Let's bring in some more people. In my four years here, I revolutionized the position of administrator and made this place cool. I was the first person to abbreviate Parks and Recreation Department. First was Parks and Recreation. Then Parks and Rec. Then PNR. Then lengthened it just a little bit to Tommy's Place. No, I'm not kidding. My name's Gary, and I'm from Gary, Indiana. Amazing. People like hearing that. It's probably one of my stronger anecdotes. A fact is not an anecdote, Gary. Here's an anecdote. Today, I met the most boring man in the world. His name was Gary. Hmm. No. Keith. Under sex, you wrote, yes, ha, 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 ha. Well played. Thank you. Uh, but all jokes aside, I'm a boy. <laughs> Keith, I had this job for four years, and I can tell you, you get out of it what you put into it. What are you hoping to get out of it? In like a month or so. What? Oh, what? What am I hoping to get out of this job? Yeah. Yeah, like uh, one month of money would be, would be just right. <sighs> Let me give you a situation. You're hosting a town hall meeting for local businesses. Oh, uh, that's so much stuff. <laughs> you just went, kept on going. That was like one thing, and I didn't even get to the situation yet. Oh. All right. Well, thanks, guys. <sighs> I think we've all seen enough. Still not totally sure what, what I'm applying for. But if you ask me, I think it went pretty well. Hey. Oh, hey, Ron. All right. I got to come clean. I saw you spraying cologne samples at Macy's. What? Macy's? That wasn't me. There's a Macy's in town? Where's the Macy's in town? I heard they have an amazing cologne sample guy. Just take the job, Tommy. Come on back. I quit to pursue my dream. And my dream collapsed. It's embarrassing, Ron. I can't go from being a CEO back to being an administrator. Is there anything I can do to make you feel OK about coming back? Everyone, please help me. I'm trying to get Tom back. I'm. Begging. This department just doesn't work without you. What do you say? Ron, this is embarrassing, even for you. I'm not coming back. Peace out, my dudes. Excuse me, everyone. That was great. So what I'm thinking is, I'll come back in a few days. You'll beg me again. Ah! So, if it's okay with you guys, I would like to ask Ron for my job back. Ron, may I have my job back, please? Thank you. I will see you all Monday. Looking forward to it. <laughs>